The North American Aviation XB-70 Valkyrie is a prototype version of the nuclear-armed deep-penetration supersonic strategic bomber planned for the United States Air Force Strategic Air Command. Designed in the late 1950s by North American Aviation, its only major advantage was its ability to use high speeds in areas without missile protection, especially on long journeys from the U.S. to the Soviet Union. The USAF emphasized that this was the main reason for maintaining the bomber force. In addition to being able to stay in the air at great distance from their base and thus be immune to sneak attacks. The six-engine XB-70 Valkyrie is capable of flying thousands of miles at Mach 3 Plus while flying at 70,000 feet. At this speed, it was expected that the XB-70 Valkyrie would be invulnerable to interceptors, the only effective weapon against bombers at the time. The bomber would spend only a short time over certain radar stations, flying out at high speed out of range before controllers could locate them. Its high speed made it difficult to see on radar displays and its high altitude and high speed capabilities were unmatched by Soviet interceptors or fighters of the time. At the time, the nuclear weapons they carried weighed several tons, and the need to carry enough fuel to fly the payload from the continental United States to the Soviet Union. They also concluded that after the bomb's release, the plane would need supersonic speed to avoid the bomb's detonation radius. The USAF ultimately misrepresented it. With the advent of the intercontinental ballistic missile during the late 1950s, the manned bomber was increasingly rendered obsolete. The USAF eventually gave up its production struggle and the XB-70 Valkyrie program was cancelled in 1961. Development was then shifted to a research program to study long-duration high-speed flight. It was used for supersonic test flights from 1964 to 1969. In 1966, one prototype crashed after colliding with a smaller aircraft while flying in close formation. Now the last surviving Valkyrie bomber is in the National Museum of the United States Air Force near Dayton. The aviation industry has been studying this problem for some time after the XB-70 Valkyrie crashed. From the mid-1940s, there was renewed interest in using nuclear-powered aircraft in the bomber role. Now the XB-70 Valkyrie bomber is in the museum and will be pulled out using a vehicle. It is possible that the bomber will be used again after being stored in a museum for so long. Even though it has been in storage for a long time now the bomber still looks charming. Before carrying out a bomber mission there must be maintenance. Now the crew is cleaning, from the wings to the tail of the plane. After cleaning the XB-70 Valkyrie looks very charming. After looking clean, now the XB-70 Valkyrie is in front of the museum's courtyard, deliberately exhibited so that local residents and foreign tourists know that this bomber had served in the 1950s. After being exhibited, the crew will pull it back using a vehicle to put it back into the museum warehouse. Not a few people also witnessed the XB-70 Valkyrie after being in a museum for so long. Finally the bomber was put back into the museums. <laughs>